Let's add TypeScript to our Fuse application. So we can run npm install typescript-g. And if you've not heard of TypeScript before, it's essentially a superset of JavaScript and transpiles down to JavaScript when we write it. It allows us to use things like ES6, ES7, and so on, as well as statically typing our variables. Of course, it offers way more functionality than that, but at a high level, that's all we need to know. Outside of that, we can run npm install typings-g if we want to install any specific TypeScript typings. We can then make a new Fuse project, and I'm going to say Fuse create app, and the app I'm going to create is TypeScript Fuse. That has been created, and we can now cd into TypeScript Fuse. I'm going to clear my console and open this up inside of Visual Studio Code. So as always, we have a standard Fuse project with a main view and a TypeScript Fuse dot uno project. If we then run tsc dash dash init from our command line, we should of course get a new TypeScript config dot JSON generated within our project. If we take a look at this in more detail, we can see that we have some base compiler options here. And these are a variety of settings that we can set within our TypeScript configuration. You can see that we're targeting ES5, so no matter what we write, it will be transpiled down to ES5. We're using CommonJS as a default, but you can select other things like SystemJS and more. As well as that, we have strict mode and a variety of other things, but the thing that we want to look at right now is the root directory and the output directory. So I'm going to uncomment output directory. And within here, this is the folder where all of the transpiled JavaScript is placed. So I'm going to add this to a folder called generated. Now a folder called build is used by Fuse. So if we've said built or build, we might get confused with that. So I'm going to put generated for now. And the root directory specifies the root directory of the input files. So this is where our JavaScript is located. So I'm going to specify the root directory should be a folder named source. So we then have to create a folder named source. And inside of the source folder, we might have things like an app. We may have other pages like settings and so on. But for now, we'll just simply make an app file. And then we can put app.ts inside of that app folder. If we had a class such as app and the class had a title of type string equal to fuse TypeScript, we'd then be able to export a member of this class and would be able to access that inside of our UX. So let's make a new app variable. Const app is a new app. And we can export the title by saying export const title is equal to the app.title. This is the same as exporting a member from a module. So now what we have to do is tell Fuse about this new generated folder and the files within it. Before getting to that, let's generate the transpiled JavaScript from TypeScript. And we can do that by saying tsc dash dash watch. This transpiles the TypeScript down to JavaScript and will watch for any more file changes. You can now see we have this generated folder and inside of the generated folder is a mirror of our source folder, but instead of TypeScript, it's JavaScript. So if we click app.js, we can now see the results. And the key factor here is this exports.title is equal to app.title. This is what we'd write if we did it in standard ES5. So if you've not used TypeScript before, you can see the generated result. The next thing to do is tell Fuse about this generated folder. So inside of TypeScript Fuse.uno project, we can say that we want to include everything inside of slash generated slash anything slash anything dot JS. And we can add that to our bundle. So add the colon bundle. This means when we build our project, Fuse is going to look for anything inside of the generated folder and of course class that as project code. So, so far in our very small example, we're taking the title of our application and we're exporting it inside of our module. Then inside of our main view.ux, we could do something like have a panel and perhaps align the panel in the center of the screen. And we can have a text view with the value of that title. So how do we get access to the title inside of our main view.ux scope? Well, that's quite easy. I have shown you in the past that we can actually just add JavaScript to this JavaScript block here, but we can also, if we wanted to add that external file. 
so we could tell Fuse that actually we have a JavaScript file and that's in generated slash app slash app.js and now the scope of our mainview.ux will of course be in that app.js. We're exporting a title. So if we've done everything correct, we should see that title in the middle of the screen. Let's run this and we can run our project by saying fuse preview. This is gonna start the build process and we should see the application on screen. And there we have it. We have fuse TypeScript in the middle of the screen. That's been transpiled down from our TypeScript to JavaScript. And then of course, we're displaying the results of that on screen. If we made a quick change to this and said, fuse is awesome, we get it instantly updated on screen. And that's one of the awesome things about fuse is that if we make any changes, they're updated instantly. So if you're thinking about using TypeScript inside of your fuse projects, this is how you can get set up in doing that. People are asking for more Fuse videos. We're starting out with the basics, covering a few little concepts, but we'll start getting more complex as time goes by. If you like this, then obviously hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more videos. Let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see. And of course, see you very soon in the next video.